Welcome back to Mystery Death Theater 5000, where we are playing Jill's scenario of Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut. Yes. I'm behind the controls this time, Vanessa Sketch, and with me is Chris Jabberwocky. Hello. And we're doing the game. Oh, all right. And, uh... We're doing training, because I don't... Yeah, it's... it's I'm, I'm here for a good time, not a difficult time. Yeah, we, we, listen, I, I think it pretty much after we did, you know, I did that run, t- t- like, God, almost four years ago now, uh, of the original as Chris, I think, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we've sort of proven ourselves enough, you know? Look, I, I'd be all right to remake hard and RE3 remake on, like, Inferno. Yeah. I, I beat Hunk and Tofu. Oh my god. I don't need to prove anything. I'm, I'm just, you know. Where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots. It takes a lot of practice. But you know what? It's it's cool. I just I, I find that these are a lot more fun for like occurred in Raccoon City. Let's place to go on the reports of families being attacked. Yeah, because because then you're able to kind of just you know enjoy the ride like these uh like developers in the uh, newspaper clippings disappeared see raccoon city right there look chris no i don't i don't see it looks like they're sending up smoke to signal sid oh yeah well that's a that's an old cut or a new cut it was bravo team's helicopter Nobody was in it, but strangely, most of the equipment was still there. We're, we sure are looking at that However, equipment. We soon discovered why. Most of the equipment and was still there, including their fog machine. Where are my cigarettes? Dad, pop it! When Muppets go bad. Hey, over here! I found the Muppet. Gotta hand it to him. It's still censored! It's time to gouge his throat it on the Muppet Show tonight. Chomp chomp. Joseph! I think. Maybe. It's unclear. Take that, the ground. your arm down redfield i appreciate in the cutscene that uh barry's revolver has the magnum sound from dirty harry well you gotta get the sound effect from somewhere there exactly what house we're oh that house oh okay wow wow that house came out of nowhere just kind of snuck up on them also puppets Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. My hair's tall. Valentine. Uh, yeah. You look at like how puffy her shoulder pads were. Oh, they are. It's just this is just all like the cosplayers of Resident Evil One. Albert Wesker. I still look good, right? Right. I don't, I, don't, I, don't look, I don't look dumb. Resident Evil. I was thinking about this today. Is Wesker basically just Her- Herbert West as described in the novel with sunglasses? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You've given me something to think about. Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? I don't know. He, he doesn't have good Stop directions, it. you know. Don't open that door. What about the other door? What is it? Oh, well, that's one way out of this movie. Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. He is. Okay, let me handle this. Let me handle this empty. This empty room. 
He, he just Stay like alert. sets up like a whole like um like a hot plate and he starts making pancakes for everybody. You come back in and he's just like flipping this skillet and he's like, "Look, I can do that." Yeah. That's why I was voted team captain of the, the year. Dining room. Now eat your flapjacks. Uh, uh sir, uh I I don't think you had any competition. And yeah, well, Enrico was trying to say that I don't make as good a flapjacks as him, and I proved him wrong. Well, he does better crepe. It, what? You see what this small this? little tear come out from underneath uh, Oscar's sunglasses. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> one, one of the sunglass lenses just had a single tear. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Because it really stands out against hope the background. this is not Chris's blood. Yeah, I hope it's not my blood either. I, I hope it's not holiday blood. Oh, you mean the Christmas blood. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. Hey, there he is. Hi. Oh, oh no, we we interrupted your meal there. Oh, so sorry about that, dear. Oh, you sorry. just you just go ahead and have your snack, your censored snack, dear. Oh, sorry about that. I gotta go. Meow. Hey, Barry. Some guy was munching on a snack, and I think it was our buddy for it. Barry? Oh no, wait. It's our buddy Kenneth. You know, when they're all partially devoured, it's hard to tell them apart. It's a monster! Or was it Let rich? I don't know, one of our buddies. Did you see that? His blood was so metallic. Hey, does this make Barry Burton a head popping daddy? God. was killed too. Maybe by this creature. I mean, I'd, maybe by this thing. I, I'm not totally sure. It was it was all censored, and even though this is the director's cut. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so, my understanding about that is that the censorship was not supposed to be intact, but they shipped it with the wrong assets anyway? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it was a mistake. It was supposed to be on. Hmm. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. So, look for Wesker in the room that's completely empty. Great. Right. Sure. Yeah, with it's fully lit. There's no nooks and crannies. I mean, at least in the remake, it's there's, a little bit. this. Yeah, there's like this one passage, which is still the only other place in in like the remake. Mm -hmm. Find anything, Jill? Well, nothing. Obviously, no. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Ah, yes, the stars. Beats me too. Crack team of investigators. I did find this piece of lint. What's going on. Good job, Jill. Let's take it in for question. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. We'll try some other door somewhere. Gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. What we kind of trouble? The first floor, okay? And well, you know, Jill, murder trouble. Pick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. He said the thing! He did it! He Thanks. said the thing. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. I don't know how to deal with living in a world where I'm older than... No, this time, it's fine. I'll be there. You're only as old as Wes you're only as old as Wesker now. Oh no, sorry. He was no, they were both thirty-eight. Aren't they both? I thought actually, I take the no. back. I thought I thought Barry was uh, was forty. Hang on. No, no, they they listed them both as thirty-eight. Oh dear God, you're right. Dear God. Yeah, Resident Evil trivia. Enjoy that. I will dwell on this and simmer in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, now see now now you know how it feels. I do, because uh -huh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, now you know how it feels. Hmm. God, when I when I first played this and for the like 
many years after, no music unsettled me more than this. Oh, yeah. This is genuine top-tier creepy. Yeah. It was actually something that I was sad about in, in the remake. It didn't carry over quite as strong. Yeah, like it's there were some really good new themes in the remake, but the old the kind of the revisions of the old themes were it was kind of a mix. They were as I think I remember mm -hmm. when it came out, we both you and I both said that it had a much stronger sense of mood, but it wasn't as creepy. Oh hello yeah. doggy. Goodbye, doggy. Kind of reminded me a bit of like Mario Bava atmosphere at the time because I was really getting into Bava films back then. Hmm. I'm thinking about that. Hmm. 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 Yeah, the you know the rendering on this uh, this version on the PS5 looks really good. It's it, it's. Oh yeah, no, I I like it a lot. Yeah, like they've smoothed out the dithering, but it doesn't have that kind of that super soft filter that like the PS3 smoothing does. Mm -hmm. Walk, walk, fashion, Valentine. I like it very much. I always forget that there's really nothing in here in in the original. Yeah, because it, 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 I mean, there were entire runs when I would play this as uh, when I was a teenager that I would just ignore this room completely. I, I don't think I even came into this room as Jill for probably like 10 years. Yeah. I mean, I came in here on purpose this time because I I wanted to show the room. <laughs> I mean, look look at that, like, weird... What is the deal? I that shower curtain. That shower curtain. Yeah, it looks like... um. What is going on? It's like a shower curtain by Gumbasia. There's like two curtains. There's one that like, oh my god, like goes around. Yeah, the, and then the little, there's the other one. And then the one that goes around the near the faucet side. It's got like, I don't know if that's like supposed to be the dials for the shower, but it's also like sticking onto I, the curtain. Why would why would you put the shower? You can't put shower dials on a curtain. That's madness. It'll work. <laughs> the weirdness. I don't understand this thing. I'm so glad I came in here to, to be puzzled by this. Mysteries that have been going on since 1997, guy. Oh my goodness. That's why That's why you come here. Yeah, because we, we, we find the deep cuts here. The the weird things. That, huh, that's weird. The, the what the hell is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to get the scene, aren't we? Oh yeah. I, I'm not going to play Resident Evil 1 without giving you guys this. Yes. That's just wrong to do this. Weep. The weirdest thing is always hearing that menu noise and other things. Yeah, because it, it was sort of like a stock sound effect that, or at the very yeah. least, it was a common sound effect. Yeah. It was like a common stock sound effect, so I kept hearing it in so many other things. And every time I hear it, I'm like, ah, ah, Resident Evil menu beep. It's locked. Eh. Oh no. It's also what locked. And uh, this is locked. And this is locked. Uh, ah, how about uh, these tiles? These tiles are locked. And the ceiling, uh, the ceiling, well, the ceiling's definitely unlocked. Hey, what's going ceiling's on? Ceiling's unlocked, is that bad? Jill? Is that you, Jill? It's what almost happened? like I'm being crushed to death in here. Perry? I mean, the door's polygonal, so I have hopes for the door. Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! You know, weirdly enough, I, I, I think... I think Barry kicking the door open still makes more sense than shooting it in the remake. Oh, oh yeah. God, yeah. 100%. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right! Barry, thanks for saving my life. He said the thing. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? 
I like the special angle that you get specifically for this. Game. To check. Oh yeah, whenever they do now, special angles for cutscenes, especially in the first Captain game, Chris, it, they're really we? nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. And Barry's submissive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, that's a great bit of delivery. And to think we'll get to hear him deliver such lines as that when we finally play Nightcry. We will. The voice actor of Vigo is Barry Burden's voice actor. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> It's been so long, I don't remember which button was the aim. <laughs> okay. You die. You freeze and you die. Well, at least they're not going to crimson head on you. Oh, thank God. That's a problem for future Homer. <laughs> it is indeed. I, I'm... <sighs> I'm sure there probably is a Resident Evil 1 mod that adds Crimson Heads, but I'd be very curious to play one. I mean, I think, um... A mod that never came out was supposed to... Oh, yeah. I mean, what was that, like, Dark Biohazard? Oh, right! Yes, yes, yes. I remember that now. Yeah. And that was the one that kind uh, of flamed... Yeah, that was the one that, like, flamed out, wasn't it? Yeah. It was it was such a bummer that it flamed out because the the backgrounds that they showed off and like the new ones were really cool looking. Mm -hmm. They really captured the atmosphere. Yeah, and and that's the thing, you know, we always I know you and I often talk about this that there's a certain look to the original game that artistically really has never been done again by any other team and especially not within the franchise. Mhm. Mm Give me bullet. Get bullet? You need bullet. Yeah, get bullet. One bullet. Oh, wow. So training mode gives you 60 in the box. Yeah. That's, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and that's why that's why I chose this, because I want bullets. Mm, that's an herb, all right. It sure is. I, I like the little three. I yeah when they brought back the 3D model you know to look at in Co-Veronica I was so happy oh that's right there's no ink ribbon in here oh yeah there isn't well I mean it's all, it's not actually a problem no I don't think there's yeah I think there's just two clips usually in the first item or, you know when you first go to the item box and, and that's but it. because I'm playing on this Huh? Hey. Oh, huh? there you go. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. Take that ink ribbons. Uh -huh. Take that. Uh, I'll do what I want. Yeah, there's something with, like, the palette, the dithering, the kind of the render settings on whatever, you know, like, whatever Amiga system or whatever they use to render these backgrounds that just, mm -hmm. there really is nothing like it. It just has a very particular style to it. Mm-hmm. I think the closest I've seen is, Al is Elisa. Mm-hmm. From cradle to I'm... grave, we call. Oh. Call. We call. A newborn baby. There's the baby. Ah. I don't need no young. I, I don't... I, you know, I wonder, are the crows mocking you at this point? Yes. Oh. I mean, they're always mocking. Oh. That explains why I felt so insecure after I walked to that parking lot full of crows and they kept cawing at me and... Oh, God, now it makes so much more sense. <laughs> I can't. Oh, look at that bold-looking old man. <laughs> oh, he's so... Is he bold, though? Oh, yes, he's bold! What is he even doing in that painting? Is he, like, 
Is he looking at a bottle of wine? It's like, oh, yes, I bottled this motherfucker when I was 12. It's being bold. I, I like... So, I mean... This feels very accurate. <laughs> yeah. I'm yep. middle-aged now, and I'm... <laughs> so tired. We're so tired. And then, you, like... I would love to eventually become a, a sprightly, lively old person, but I don't know if I'm gonna get there. Eh, you'll be, you'll get there. I mean, collectively as a human species. Oh, humankind on the whole. Yeah, no, 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 no. no we're, yeah. we're, 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 you know, humankind is supposed to be in its adolescent period now, according to some religions, and I suspect we're not going to make it to uh, middle age as a, as a, as a civilization. Also, this music that plays after you get the crest. Again, another one of those tracks that for the longest time just really unsettled me. Oh, totally. Like, R2 was the first one that I, I ever played, but... Yeah, this there... was the one that scared me. Yeah, there is a creep factor that is... Uh, really is unmet, uh, unmatched. That zombie. He was coming at you. Yeah, but he only took two bullets. I mean, I know this is training. That other guy took like five bullets. Hmm. One weak ass zombie. <laughs> All the other zombies were making fun of him. God, Carl, why did you go down like such a chump? Well, listen, man. I, 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 I was, I was just going through a lot of the time, and you know, I was. Oh, boo hoo! We're all on dead. I, I, I was, I was just remembering when my dad said, "Carl, Carl." Your name was Coral. It, it was Coral. I changed it. Your name's not. Hey, I, man. I, I, I changed it. I changed it after a while. This is the saddest thing ever today. Okay, good. I I I still I need to get back to practicing my Resident Evil One zombie moans because I used to be <laughs> really good at those. <laughs> I would I'd scare my mom with them occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> I can scare with the uh, the clicker noise. Oh God! From a last the Last of Us clicker noise. Yeah, I can. Ooh, nice. Don't know if it'd be picked up on this mic though. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's always the catch with Discord doing doing it this way, but. You know, say it'll be. Oh, I hey. guess he's dead. Uh, I guess you've uh, found the red room, huh? I see a red room and I want black. <laughs> painted black, painted black. Uh, admittedly, they're, they are partway through painted black because you see all the deep shadows there. True. I mean, I, I like how the originals were a little bit better fit. Yeah. Yeah, with when it comes to Darkness and Shadows, Resident Evil is also another franchise that has either gone way overboard or way underboard. Mm -hmm. I thought in this case it worked because it became a stark contrast against all of the monsters. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's not like Resident Evil 1 couldn't get dark when it wanted to. So many dark outside. Mm-hmm. About medicinal so herbs. Yes. Yeah. You want to take this one? The I'll, ta I'll take this one, yes. There's a bit of a delay, but I will I will do what I can. Hmm. 
You can just tell me when uh, ready, when ready. you read it. Let's see. Okay. As you may know, there are many plants that have medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of these plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength, the blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. But the red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. Like, seriously, you put that stuff on there, it's like fucking oregano. For example... I'm just imagining that, that spice guy. Bam! For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines. But I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. Good luck, you damn fools. <laughs> go, go, go experimenting with huff and herbs, you weirdos. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that just sounds like a great way to accidentally discover, like... The drugs from Mandy and uh, in the earth. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't want that. Fair enough. Yes, that. And that zombie is alive. Oh. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. oh, you're shooting me! Oh, you're shooting me! Oh, ho oh, oh, nope. I'm dead. No, I was super dead, though. Oh, dead. I think now he did. Now he did. Okay. I, I, the, there's... It, it's, I, I would love for one of those... Oh, no, he's not dead. No, oh, no. no. Oh, God. It was a double fake out. I thought I saw the pool, but I didn't. Oh. Uh. Oh, man. Oh. But you got that great... Oh, man, I want to put that in the intro somehow. Of the, the head coming off. That is great footage. <laughs> I, I like now the square spot where his neck used to be yeah yeah i'm wondering if those are back faces or if they actually did have a like a cavity on the model that when you remove the head there's like an opening i'm fascinated by that shit he was a good old square neck <laughs> johnny square neck johnny square neck man whose neck is square Jill, did you find a guy with a square neck? Mary. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No shit, no, Sherlock. But something, something is wrong. House. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. What, your one gun? How about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this well, then. Seems this is the 357 Magnum, the most, the almost most powerful handgun in the world, which can blow a zombie's head clean off. You have to ask yourself one question. Do the zombies feel lucky, punk? They don't feel anything, the zombies. Exactly. Therefore, they're unlucky, and I will be the victor. Acid rounds. Acid. Like, even just the way that, like, the texture, like, those little, like, scuff marks they put on the texture of that container. Like, it's, it's cool. It's a vibe. It's a look. I like it. It's a good look. Yeah. Ding, ding. I always wanted to to know how they made these, like the pre-rendered background. That was always my. Th so yeah, because my understanding with this is that you know you would essentially, oh man, because I know that if it's done like Mist, because Mist was done on um, there was a series of Amiga systems that they used to to develop Mist, I believe it was a mixture of Amigas and Macintoshes, mm -hmm. and. Well, you basically, yeah, is you, you have a 3D software that you develop all of this, you know, you put the textures on, on the objects and then render it out. 
And uh, the main thing then is just figuring out how to get those angles with like, I guess like camera position coordinates that they would be able to then replicate mathematically, you know, or at least I guess the number inputs into the game world camera. Hmm. But even the fact that like, you know, there's, so like uh, this shot here is a good example where, you know, you have the zombie on the ground with the, the banister in front of it. That means that there's also masking involved to make sure that the, yeah. It's that the that part of the or I guess like you know the um, the pre render background is drawn in front of it. Nice, good touch. I did not think to think of doing that. That's a good. What? Yeah, you double. It's the old double checkeroo. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, I thought I saw it moving. Yeah. Eh. No, no, he did. No, he did. Good. He did. Fortunately, I really should have taken the other clip with me. Hmm. Well, you're getting close to the next uh, unbox, so there's that. Yeah, but you know how many zombies are between me and the next item box? Eh, you, could, you can kite around them. Just meow. Yeah, well, we're going to try this, and we'll see how that... <laughs> I have faith in you, my friend. I feel that is misplaced. Oh, hey. Hey, stop it. Hey, so much biting. Oh, no. So much biting. Oh no. oh, no. Yeah, yeah, told you, biting. It's like at first it's fine, but then there's... But then there's biting. And, and then there's biting. Screaming. Yeah. And then you find uh, the worker uh, collapsed over the unfixed remains of our tumble dryer. We don't have a tumble dryer. You will, my. You will. Oh dear. Starcrest almost sounds like a, uh, like the name of a. Um, like a prog rock album? Oh, you, it also sounds like something in like a... Uh, five thing. Hey, uh, sorry, I didn't catch that last part? Uh, it sounds like something from like a sci-fi fantasy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Starcrest, the new, the new album... Sorry, not album, sorry. The new novel from Brandon Sanderson. Yeah, something... Now I use the ink. Oh, the ink ribbon. And those of you, with, <laughs> and those of you with mechanical keyboards can uh, type type along at home. And those who don't know, ask somebody who's old. Which which means don't ask us. And uh, don't forget the yeah. There you go. Yep, yep. It's it's yeah. It, yeah. It's it's shoddy time because you have a you have a box coming up in the keeper's uh, uh, dorm. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna get. That. No, sir. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Not happening. Nope. We do not want any. Okay, he did. Okay, we good. Cause he did. He did. Yep. Yeah. You know, see that we're just showing ourselves as you know more American than many people give us credit for because of the fact that we feel more comfortable when the bad guys are dead. I mean, what? <laughs> I don't know. I, <laughs> my brain like, just completely. <laughs> I, I guess I'm thinking it's the uh, it's it's the whole American paranoia of uh, your safety. My safety is only as uh, is only assured when the other guy is dead. Oh, like but 
But zombie. Yeah. But now they're extra it's dead. Like, but the zombies are yeah, extra dead not, now. It's not the same when it's a zombie. Yeah, that's a good point. Ah, uh, yes. I believe playing as Jill, you only have the two. You only have those two. I think as Chris, you have three. Yeah, he has a, a tough time. Yeah, it's, um... It's not good, Bob. Not good. And now, science. And that was. Oh, ah, and that now concludes our How to Kill a Plant in Two Easy Steps. Add chemicals, stand back, and enjoy. Hmm. Results may vary. Offer void in Utah. Did Jill Valentine... <laughs> Sorry, Watch ahead. out for the amazing rando. I was just going to then add, has, has your plant been killed by a Jill Valentine? You may be due compensation. <laughs> what would those law offices be named? Oh, um... Umbrella, Tricell, and, uh... Damn it. And <laughs> it! The, the... The stupid controller did not move the thing down when I pressed... Oh, no, no! Uh, like the ye old days with input delay. Yeah, it just was like, nah. Nah, you're gonna eat that... Er you're gonna stuff that herb into your dumb face. But whatever, now I'm the healthiest girl in the land. Exactly. And that's when Jill Valentine decided to is to get into being a um uh what did, what do you call it? A uh a, a health um uh, a health coach. Oh god. I actually could see Nikki Tompkins, Nicole Tompkins doing a fantastic job doing a like a parody of that as Jill. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah, I could I could want to I would like uh, another remake of RE1 for also more of her Jill. Oh, definitely. And like, beginning Jill. Mm-hmm. I'm <laughs> just... Ew. Oh, he's just, he's just vibing to some, uh, some Joy Division. Oh, oh no! <laughs> he's like, no, I'm a sad boy. Oh, God, why am I such a sad boy? Why am I such a sad, dead boy? So sad. Oh, yep, I see what you're doing with the shotgun there, and I have to say I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm aware of things. Sure is a diary. That sure was his head. Yeah, the music barely got through a bar. I love that. <laughs> They're like, it's very dangerous. Ah. Huh. So I wonder whose diary to Oh, what was that guy's diary? Hmm. Uh, do you want to take the Keeper's Diary? Or? Sure, yeah, because I think you did it on... You covered it on my playthrough, I think, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, all right. My turn. Okay, go. May 9th, 1998. At night, we play poker with Scott the God, Elias, and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. <laughs> scumbag. I'll kick his ass someday. May 10, 1998. Uh, today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. Uh, it looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food, which I thought was kind of fucking weird, but all right. So I threw in a pig, and they were playing with it. They were tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate the thing. Man, it was squealing like Ned Beatty. 
<laughs> May 11, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit, you know, like one of those things out of the Andromeda string. He told me to put on one as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. There's no wonder. Those researchers never rest, even at night. That's why you gotta sleep like I do. Get up early and feed pigs to things. You know, you gotta do that sort of stuff, eh? Hey, what to do with the thing a day? Whoa. May 12, 1998. And I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. But why you prevent it and feed those dogs today? Heh, <laughs> now I feel better. <laughs> uh, animal abuse makes me feel better about myself because I'm such a sad, pathetic piece what? of shit. What a great worker this. May 13, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I could sleep well tonight. Yeah. I just imagine them putting like a big band-aid on his back and going there. Done. Right. May he has this giant plaster and like, you know, he ends <laughs> up like ne the next time he showers, his, his back is just like covered in uh, adhesive. No, just one big band-aid. Ugh. Like, comically sized, like, band well, And that's exactly what I mean, a comically sized band-aid. Think of all the adhesive you have to have to make that stick. If you're talking about Ooh. the scale of it. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah. May 14, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blist on my foot. It was annoying. I ended up dragging my fucking foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quiet Why didn't you just pop it? Pop it. I, I can't pop the blister. You, 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 ever, you ever pop a blister when you feed animals? They get, they get all sniffy at your, at your wounds. And well, then no, they... no, you pop, it, you pop it before you leave your room. But then I gotta get blister juice all over my room. How big is this blister? It's a blister. It's a foot blister. Foot blisters are big. I've had foot blisters. They don't spew blister juice all over your room. There's still at least like a good 30% of it not touch blister juice. Uh, anyway, the dogs have been quiet since morning, which is usual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. Like, yeah, these fucking dogs. <laughs> this fucking guy. I mean, it'll be totally bad if, like, some hiker gets, you know, mauled by him and they think it's a bear or something. Anyway, May 4th, 15, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They said the company has ordered that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? I tried to go team a girl on that day to do this to me. How dare they? Whoa, sir. And May 16, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels brainy and itchy at night. It was scratching the swelling of my arm and a... Lump of flesh, rotten, dropped off of me. The hell's happening? Oh. That that one always gets me. It's like, huh, chunk of my skin fell off. That's May, weird. <laughs> May 19, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry. Eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. Four itchy. Four itchy. Four tasty. Oh, four itchy, four tasty is the new um, Fast and Furious spinoff. You know, I I'm pretty sure that the series got really weird. Yeah, especially when they got to five, uh, five blister, six poppy. Ugh. Nobody liked that one. Now, oh, back to the save room. So that's right, folks. We are making sure to save the game. I mean, I'm mostly clearing it. Don't need all these. Yeah, that's true. You only need some. Some of these. A some of this and a some of that. A some of this, a some of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I, I will. 
Sorry. around here and then go back to the save room because we're not doing the time mm. thing. Mm -hmm. This is the yes. Yeah, this, this is chill. Chill. Yeah. This this is the chill regular version. Of Resident Evil. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it's a casual playthrough. Keeping it cat. <laughs> I don't need that shotgun. It's broken. That shotgun sucks. But I have a lot. Mm-hmm. So I can get some more shells. You know, at least they did the proper uh, weapon safety thing, and they made sure to put the ammunition and the weapon in two separate places. That's true, and it's locked in a drawer. Exactly. And the gun is broken, so it's useless. Exactly. Yeah, no, no Moira, that's, Moira that's Burton incidents. Yeah, no Moira Burton incidents for us. Yeah. And then we shot the shells. All right, I forget that they do not combine. I have to do it myself like a oh. fucking plebe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, with how many shells you have, do you think you're just at the point you can swap out the handgun now? No, never. Okay, okay, okay. You, you and your... Well, you're, not, you're... not until... Not for a while. Okay. With zombies, I, I, I still, first and foremost, go. That's, yeah, no, that's... Exactly. Now I understand because I know the shotgun's a really good problem solver for like the spiders, and uh, it's not great for the hunters. I can speak from experience. No, no, it's not. The uh, uh, grenade launcher is the best for hunters. Yeah, yeah. It just takes them out. But I think that's been about a half an hour, so uh, I am going to call this one, and we will be back shortly with more Resident Evil. All right. Thanks, everybody.